welcome to today on Backyard Garage. So I figured it out. Um, you can see right here, this was actually off on my um, brake here, which is why my rotors are taking so such a hard time getting them on and off, and it's causing such a pain. So found the second pin, I'm installing that right now. So that just goes on just like so. Let's see if I can get a better cam camera angle for you. Give me a second here. All right, that's probably as good as I'm gonna get. All right, so you can see right here, got the pin, this goes in through the back, goes to this hole, and this tension spring, Is on like so. Oh, hang on. This is one of those points where it helps that if you had maybe two, three, maybe four hands to work with. Okay, there we go. So that's more like it. So this is the adjustment spring. I, I'm intending on going and fixing that too because basically uh, my brakes are kind of... Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm doing a lot of maintenance trying to get this uh, vehicle back into uh, spec so I can be able to start driving. Um, even though it is a very warm winter so far, I am anticipating that it's going to snow eventually. So, this works. There we go. That's how it should go on and off. Before, I was having to bang and try and pry this off. So, it's probably been happening for a while now, which definitely caused some issues. Now, and this is why I broke the sensor in the first place. So, going back to the sensor. You can see on the inside here, I got the sensor right here. And you can see how it lines up. And there you go. And that is. Sorry for the shake. This is the sensor right here. So that's what I end up replacing. I broke it when not trying tensioning it off because, as you probably noticed, this was not stationary during the uh, initial takeoff of the rotor. So, all right. Well, it didn't detect it, but I think the main reason why it's not detecting it is it probably have to drive it a little bit. So, I'm gonna put this all back on, put the rotor and everything on. Right. While I'm at it, let's see if we can add that tension because that's a little loose, I think. So I'm not feeling much tension there. The brakes, because I loosened it a little bit trying to. Get on and off. To do that, there's a couple of you got at least a spring here, and then you got to turn this bit here. This little wheel sprocket. Loosen it just a tad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the factory. So I'll just move the camera here so you can see there's a yellow line here. You couldn't see it before because of all the dirt and grime on here, but I'm just going to tighten it up. And in a moment, be back to factory. Okay, so we can see here, you can see that there's a yellow line that goes straight through. That is now factory tensioned. 
Move that into place. There's some tension there. All right. screw in that's in now it's gonna be time putting the calipers back on the brake pads and the calipers and I'm just checking the brake pads while I'm at it and they look good they were recently replaced well, well at least last year so you know, they should be pretty good I don't see any major wear on them got the bolts on Tensioning it. I've got an 18 inch ratchet wrench. By the way, I highly recommend these racket, uh, ratchet wrenches. I was trying to do a lot of this car work without these wrenches and using like monkey wrenches. It just doesn't do it. It saves a lot of time, a lot of effort. with cars there's just certain parts that you absolutely need all right I'm gonna pause this on the well I'm gonna put the rest of this on because uh, it looks like I'm probably gonna be running out of battery here so all right so I've got the the brake holder on the rotors back on fix the e-brake add some tension to it now I want to put the sensor in so now we got to put the caliper back on now with these calipers, whenever you take them off, you gotta recompress them a little bit. So, if you just get a block here, I get a. It's gotta apply just a little bit of pressure. And you just want to make sure you don't do anything with the connectors. It's kind of a balancing act when it's just just you, so do the best you can. We just need just enough tension on it. Actually, I'm gonna try it this way. Just need just enough tension to push that the uh, cylinder there inward so that it'll go over the brakes. Okay, that should do it. Release. All right. And that fits fine over there. All right. I'm just gonna finger tighten that on real quick. already on. Let's see. That's tightened now. Right. So here we are. There we go. them on and you want to make sure you can put them on first before 
using the impact driver or else you might strip the threading on either the, nut, uh, the lug nuts or worse the bolts so put it on and I go across tight just go until it starts to go through and we should be good so next up we're gonna be going taking off the jack stands I'm gonna take it for a quick spin because I think the sensor is not gonna really recognize until I start doing uh, a little bit of driving so first things first I got the jack stand. Make sure everything's clear. And then slightly let loose. Alright. So I think we're ready to do a quick test spin. Go and drive around the block and see if everything works right. second. 